Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you my Walmart haul. So let's see what we got. So we got uh, a thing of uh, chicken broth. It's gotta be low sodium and free range and organic. You'll start to notice a pattern that uh, everything in here besides this was the cheap stuff. Uh, you're gonna need all of the Mrs. Dash. Uh, you're gonna need original. You're gonna need onion and herb. You're gonna need uh, garlic and herb. You're gonna need table blends. And then you're going to need some 100% tomato juice. Now, I just want to go back on this. I noticed Mrs. Dash changed their name to Dash. What happened? Did they get canceled like Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima? Like, I'm genuinely curious. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We got uh, original chili seasoning. If you can, just get the uh, cheap stuff. But it, I'm going to use the McCormick this time. Uh, we got some cayenne pepper. Uh, we got some minced garlic. We got a zucchini. Uh, what else do we have? Black pepper. A whole bag of mushrooms. A whole onion. And then we got some uh, red kidney beans, which I think I got two cans. Yeah, two cans. We got some uh, diced tomatoes. We have some black beans. And then our last thing is we have a package of uh, 90 10 ground turkey. This is the good stuff here. So what we want to do to start is we want to open this up and get this started going. So I got a pot on the stove here. All right, so while my pot's seasoning up, get yourself a nice big one like this. We're gonna spray this with some uh, Pam. Make sure it's really nice. I'm gonna do this off the stove. to medium high. We're gonna put in our uh, turkey. Screw up. There we go. Try and chunk this down a little bit here. Now you might be wondering what are we making? Well I'm gonna do, I guess this month we'll do a, a chili month. So we're gonna be making Amberlynn Reed's chili. So, uh, obviously, we're going to cook up our turkey a little bit here. And now, she has several recipes for chili. Uh, apparently, her chili is like Dark Side Phil's Italian sauce. Like, it's one of the things she's known for. Now, she's got a couple different recipes. I wasn't sure which one. Uh, they all look kind of like a soup and not really a chili. Uh, so I'm doing the one where she just shows her pouring the beans into the uh, strainer and she doesn't show how to cook it. But I'm also sort of going off of the one where she shows how to cook it. Basically the one without lima beans is the one we're going to be making. Turn this down a little bit more. We want to cut our zucchini. I think I'm just going to do little chunks. I think I'm only going to use half of this and we'll cut them in half again. Toss that. And then we're going to also get our onion cut up as well. So here's the video.
All right, now with the meat cooking up, we want to start adding in some stuff here. Now, depending on what recipe you go off of, I also forgot to get cumin, by the way, so it'll be fine. We're gonna, we'll just add in a pinch more of Mrs. Dash to compensate for it. But we're gonna start by adding some, uh, a spoonful of our garlic. So we'll pick, take a nice spoonful, put that garlic right in there. Most of your seasoning, so we'll do the dash, a dash of Mrs. Dash. I'm probably gonna forget what color I'm on, but that's okay. Get some more. And the last Mrs. Dash. And then we're going to put in our onions. Our mushrooms. And the zucchini. And we just need some black pepper. And we need the chili seasoning. We put in the chili seasoning now. Oh no, we gotta wait for the meat to cook and then we'll put in the chili seasoning. So we're gonna be waiting a while for this. Stir this around really good. Now you might be wondering, why don't you have a smaller pot? Well, or a better pot? Well, this is what I have. It's just, you know, you just gotta deal with what you got. And uh, we'll just, this is the same pot that made the famous dark side fill sauce. So we'll just mix the meat around. And once the meat is cooked, then we're gonna add the chili pep powder and the rest of the stuff. So we'll let this go for a little while. Now I'm a pretty dry dude, so I got some uh, water here. It'll help me out. Now while you're waiting on this, we got one other thing we need to do. Now unfortunately these cans come with a little pull tab on it, but we get to do the fun stuff. So we don't get to do the fun stuff, but we can do it with this later. So take all your beans over to the sink, and this is very important. Have a nice colander in the sink, and I don't really like the flavor of my beans, so I'm going to drain all the juice out of it. Then I'm going to rinse them off. A little bit extra on the bottom there. Yeah, we'll come back for that part. You can get the store-bought generic kind or you can get the Goya. I would get the store-bought generic kind, but you know my Walmart trip said get Goya, so I did. I need a spoon or something to get that shit out. Get the black beans. Get on the goddamn thing. Alright, I need a spoon to get these out. I'll be right back. Alright, I got all the beans out, so I need to rinse them off really good. Now for anybody actually curious, this isn't really a abnormal thing. A lot of people don't like the bean juice whatsoever on their uh, beans. I don't blame them. Spray them out really good. Oh, beautiful. We should be good with that now. So we'll come back for this later, I think. I, I don't know, I don't remember the whole recipe. All right, let's see how we're looking. We're getting there, we're gonna be a little while here. Probably even put a little bit more of the seasonings in too once. Uh... Once we start cooking down a little bit more. Now cook this with the lid off. Don't cook it with the lid on. Obviously, I gotta make my meat a little smaller. And she actually appears to make her onions nice and caramelized. 
so I'm gonna be cooking them for a little while here. Also, while we're waiting, uh, make sure you open your can of the diced tomatoes. Oh. I think it's better every time I do it. Now, we're not gonna drain the juice from this. We're gonna keep this juice. You know, the one good thing about this recipe is uh, it won't take the four and a half hours like Dark Side Phil's. As soon as I get this part done, we just gotta let it cook for 20 minutes. No lie though, it actually does smell pretty good with those spices together. I definitely don't think I could eat the lima bean version of this. Like that would just be horrible, you guys. Lima, I mean lima beans. That would just be horrible, you guys. I think we got about another minute or two, and then we should be all right. All right, that's gonna be about the best it's gonna look like. So we're gonna add in a little bit more of our Mrs. Dashes, because I don't know if I put in enough. So I'm just gonna do just a tiny bit. Each of them again. more of this. Alright, and then we want to add in our uh, chili spice. Our original chili seasoning packet. Whatever kind you get. The original, the not original. or uh, You gotta get the original, but you can get the great value brand or whatever's cheaper. I don't have a Kroger's near me, so if you have like a Kroger's, that would probably be the best. Alright, let's stir this up. Burn my rag. Probably turn the heat down a little bit when I'm doing this. Alright, now while the heat's down a little bit and that's all mixed together, we want to add in our whole thing of chicken broth. Turn it back up, it's going to boil. Okay, there's that. Let's do one of our tomato juice, 100% tomato juice cans. Okay. And then we want to add in our whole thing of the diced tomatoes. I'm going to give that a quick stir. Okay, now we want to add in our cayenne pepper, and if you had the cumin, this would be the chance to do it, but since I don't have it, uh, it'll be fine. We're just going to add in some cayenne pepper. There we go. And give it another stir, and I'm going to go get the beans, and we're going to add those in too. So let me go grab the beans. There we go. Oop. Oof, I have some problems, aren't I? Make sure you stand way back while you're doing this so you don't splash yourself. There we go. Put that right over here. Give it one more stir. You know what? I'm going to add one more can of that tomato juice in here. I had to set out for it. One more. 
That'll give it the extra flavoring. All right, you guys, just wait for this to boil for 20 minutes, and then uh, we will call it good. So I will stir it. We're going to stir occasionally, and I will uh, report back as we do it. Now, if you guys are curious uh, why the angle's so weird, I'm sitting on my chair. Can do a little spin. Woo! Oop, I hit the fucking stove. There we go. Well, we're starting to bubble. It's only been a couple minutes here, but it's not looking half bad. It smells all right. I'm actually kind of excited. I don't know, I never had black beans or zucchini or mushrooms in a chili before, but we'll see what happens. Get on my chair. All right, there we go. Let's see how we're looking. Let me give it another stir. Put the thing up a little bit more. Should be getting closer now. Let that keep cooking. All right, you guys, I'm getting off my chair. The chili is complete. It's been the 20 minutes. I'm gonna give it one last stir here. I'll make a couple notes uh, while I was cooking. I mean, it's pretty easy to cook. But you want to serve this bitch hot. And also, hers looked a little redder than mine. So I think she used a little bit more tomato juice. But honestly, it smells pretty good. And I got everything all set up and ready to go. So I got a bowl here. Just dive right in. Right in the bowl. And then, let me get the ladle somewhere, put the ladle over here. And then you're going to need a little bit of cheese. Now you're supposed to get Mexican blend cheese, but uh, I only have some cheddar. So we'll just use some shredded cheddar cheese in here. And that's it. That's Amer Amberlin Reed's chili all right you guys i got the uh chili here i had to let it cool off that was a little too hot but i have one question before i eat this how come amberlyn reed is not amber reed anymore i thought she couldn't be amberlyn because of some porn star name but anyway it actually looks really good to be honest with you i know some people don't like beans it's still fucking broiling hot and the reason for the big chunks of onion is if you're like Becky and you don't like the onion, you just take it out. But I like onion, so I'm actually going to put another piece in there. But smell-wise, you mostly smell the uh, McCormick seasoning. The turkey smells really good in it. I don't know if Mrs. Dash has a smell, but... I mean, this isn't the most offensive smell. I probably could have used another can of tomato juice. I noticed mine wasn't as red as hers, but I'm, I'm excited to try this out. Ooh, a little spicy from the cayenne pepper. Ooh, that's a little too much. Let me get one more let me get one more bite with the zucchini in there. My opinion, it's not the most... It's not a very tasty chili. I mostly taste the heat from the cayenne pepper, which is fine. But, uh... It, it tastes a little watery, like I guess that's from the chicken broth, if you're using a whole can of chicken broth. And everything's like mush, and obviously I know why it's like mush.
It doesn't really have any flavor besides the heat. I don't think the Mrs. Dashes really did anything for it. The mushrooms really don't need to be in here. But, I mean, it's edible. I would give this probably, like, I, I don't rate chili too often. But if uh, you put this in a chili, a church chili cook-off, you're not getting first place. You're not getting fifth place. You're probably not getting last place if Jack Scalfani's is in it. But you, I would say this is probably like a 5 out of 10. I know I keep doing 5 out of 10s, but... It's edible, but it has nothing of note in it besides that it's just strange. And it's very watery, obviously, because of the tomato juice. And the fact that you don't simmer it at all and let it get nice and thick. But I can eat this. I mean, it, would I recommend you eat this? It's okay. It's not worse than her uh, vegetable soup, I'll tell you that much. But half good job, 5 out of 10, Amberlynn. As I eat more of this, my opinion is unchanged. It's still the same, obviously. But I, thinking about it, I'm going to bump this up to a 6 out of 10. So, even better job. Well, I did over... I look back at my footage, I did over pour the cayenne pepper like crazy. I'm going to go back for, uh, for some seconds. Uh, but only seconds because I'm going out to eat later tonight I'm going to get a steak so I just needed something to pre uh, pair myself for my evening of eating